Hey guys, Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com coming at you live on Periscope. And if you haven't checked out the Periscope app, man, you got to do that. Periscope is one of the hottest social media technologies out there right now in 2016. But what I wanted to talk to today in this video is how I got started with Facebook a couple years ago and, um, and ended up quitting a short time later. It was, uh, it was pretty awful. And, and I want to make this video because Maybe you're going through the same thing and maybe you can relate to what I went through. The good news is in a future video, it does have a happy ending, but let's talk about that. So me with Facebook, I stayed away from Facebook for a long time for one simple reason. I didn't want my internet business stuff getting commingled with family and friends. I didn't want to make a Facebook page about my PC tattletale business and have those posts bleeding over and my friends and family seeing them all the time. And no matter what Facebook said, I just didn't trust them. So I stayed away from Facebook and year after year, I heard people having awesome, awesome success with their Facebook page. And I just said, oh, well, I'm getting good results with Google. I'm not gonna worry about Facebook. Well, what ended up happening is with Google, as you may know, um, you know, you can buy traffic from Google. It's friggin' expensive. Like for me to buy the keywords I need for PC Tattletale, we're talking six, seven, eight, ten dollars a click on a $79 product that's never gonna fly. The math straight up just doesn't work out. So uh, AdWords with Google was pretty much off the table. I just couldn't afford it. The clicks were just too expensive. I was just priced out. Now, I was getting about three or 400 people a day from Google to my website, which is awesome, right? And it's making sales, it's all working. But how can I get more people coming to my website from Google? Well, I was kind of hitting a wall there and my business was just straight up stuck. So at that time, I kept hearing people saying, Facebook ads, Facebook ads, Facebook ads. I'm getting these awesome results with Facebook ads. I'm getting these awesome results on my Facebook page. And I finally said, you know what? All right, I got to take a plunge and look at this Facebook thing. I'm hearing so much good results with it. So I reluctantly signed into Facebook and I went through the process, you know, making the Facebook page for my PC Tattletale site wasn't, wasn't really that uh, hard at all. And so I did that. Um, Facebook told me I should invite all my friends and customers, so I emailed my customer list and told them to like my Facebook page, and they did that. And I think I had like maybe 100 or 200 likes, which is pretty cool, right? So again, I didn't know what I was doing, but, but Facebook said to do that, so that's what I did. And then I started um, posting things about my service to my Facebook page, because that's what you would do, right? Uh, this is what my software is about, this is how much it costs, and then I, I was really perplexed, like out of the 200 people that Facebook, you told me, you told me to have them like my page. And out of those 200 people, like five people saw the post. And I, I thought that was a little strange. So Facebook was saying, no, 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 you need to boost your post. You need to pay us money to boost your post. So I did it. I spent 50 bucks uh, on boosting posts to see what was happening. And what ended up happening is, is Facebook took my money. I got like I don't know, 10 or 15 clicks, and they stayed on my site for about four seconds. And guys, that was pretty much my first experience with Facebook. I was, I was pretty disgusted with them that they would tell me uh, to email my customers and like this new Facebook page. And then when I post stuff to my Facebook page that my own customers like, they don't even show it to them. They want me to pay money to show it to them. Fine. I paid you $50 in money and you did nothing for me. It got me a couple more likes, which apparently weren't worth a lot. And um, it sure as hell didn't get me any sales. So I walked away from Facebook. I said, the hell with it. I'm going to go back to Google. I'm going to go back to YouTube. I'm just going to try other stuff. And I, I just walked away from Facebook. That was my first experience with Facebook, guys. And it wouldn't be until a couple years later I came back to it and really wanted to just go all in and give it another shot. And I'll tell you about that in the next video. And in the next video, I'm going to tell you things I learned along the way that you absolutely should not do on Facebook, which will just completely ruin it for you. I made all those mistakes. I don't want you to make them. So this video, just know if you're completely frustrated with Facebook, maybe you feel a little ripped off, maybe a little disgusted by them. I know how you feel. But... There's good news. If you learn how to do it right, it is absolutely amazing. Their ad platform 
racks once you know how to set it up and you can get that Facebook page to, to work for you really, really well if you do it the right way. I'll tell you that in a future video, but for now, that's it. Just know that you're not alone if you're frustrated and just completely overwhelmed with Facebook. I know how you feel. I'll make another video for you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.